All right, so we're diving into something huge today. Oh, yeah. Jets and bills. Absolutely. And like, this is huge. I mean, over 2 million Google searches. Wow. About this rivalry. Yeah. You know, and it makes sense after looking at this article. Yeah. This isn't just like another game on the schedule. This is like, hey. who is going to be top dog in the AFC East? You're right. You know, the Patriots. Right. They were like kings for so long. Yeah. And now. For a long time. Wide open. And you see that you see that changing with the guard, yeah, which is always fascinating in the NFL. And honestly, it feels like it all comes down to yeah, Rodgers versus Allen. Mm. I mean, talk about a quarterback showdown for the ages. Yeah, two very different quarterbacks, two very different styles of play. Completely. I mean, you've got Rodgers with the experience, right? The accuracy, the mind. Like he just sees the field in a way that yeah, he dissects defenses exactly. And then you've got Allen, yeah, who's like a human highlight reel. I mean, the arm strength, the way he moves, it's, best. it's insane. The article actually breaks down some of their biggest plays. Jiggly. I have to say, that touchdown pass Rodgers threw a couple weeks ago, yeah, yeah. where he like threaded the needle between two defenders, it was unbelievable. You must never see a throw like that. I know. And then Allen will just like escape the pocket and launch a bomb right. 50 yards downfield. And you're like, but, how, how does he even do that? Yeah, it's two completely different ways to win a football game. And what I love about this matchup, too, is you have these brilliant coaches behind it all. Yeah. Seller for the Jets and McDermott for the Bills. Right. And you're talking about two very different styles of coaching as well. Oh, absolutely. I mean, yeah. McDermott, he's turned the Bills into this defensive powerhouse. Right. They've been building to this for a while. Yeah. And then you have Sella, who's all about getting the most out of his players. Hmm. And with Rodgers there now, right. it's like he's unlocked something special with the Jets. They're playing with a different energy this season. They really are. Yeah, it's like they finally believe they can compete with anyone. And that's half the battle right there. It really is. Yeah. So we've got the players, we've got the coaches. But what makes this rivalry so fascinating Wow. is that it goes beyond just who's on the field. It's yeah. about the strategies, the adjustments like a chess match. It really is. You'll see McDermott using a lot of those rollouts and bootlegs with Allen. Oh, yeah. Take advantage of that mobility. Exactly. Keep the defense guessing. And then Sella's trying to counter that with these creative blitz packages. Oh, really? Yeah, trying to keep Allen contained. So it's like they're always one step ahead trying to outsmart each other. Absolutely. And it makes for some really exciting football. And, you know, when you talk about trying to contain a guy like Josh Allen. Oh, yeah. You need a defense that can actually step up to the challenge. Mm. And the article does not let us down there. No, it doesn't. It really gets into the weeds about these two defenses. Yeah. And that matchup in particular. Right. Sauce Gardner versus Stefan Diggs. Oh, man. That's box office right there. Every single time. I mean, talk about a clash of titans. And Gardner, he's just come onto the scene. So good, so fast. And just shut down some of the best receivers in the league. I mean, the way he could just blanket Diggs. The size, the instincts. Like, he knows what Diggs is going to do before Diggs even does. They're reading each other's minds out there. It's insane. But then again, we're talking about Stefan Diggs. Right. I mean, this guy. Elite route runner. He's like a ballerina out there. Yeah. The way he can just get open, even with someone like Gardner. You know he's open even when he's covered. Exactly. Yeah. So how do you even game plan for that? McDermott's got to be pulling out all the stops. I bet. Hmm. Moving digs around formations, stacks, bunches, anything to try and... Yeah, create a little bit of separation. Just a little bit of space is all he needs. Right, because if he gets even a step... It's over. Touchdown. Yeah. So we've got the quarterback duel. We've yeah. got these incredible defensive matchups. But then there's this whole other layer. There is. The history of this rivalry. Oh, yeah. This one goes way back. I mean, Jets and Bills... This isn't some new thing. Yeah. No, ah. this goes back to the AFL days. Okay, so give me a little history lesson here. Okay, so... What makes this chapter of the rivalry so special? So, you think about the Jets, right? Yeah. For years, they were always chasing the Dolphins, the Patriots. Right. And recently, the Bills. Exactly. They were always trying to catch up. The little brother. And then Rogers comes to town. Boom. Changes everything. It's like a switch flipped. It really is. Yeah. Suddenly, the Jets are expecting to win. Not just compete. They're playing to win championships. And mm -hmm. that belief, that's huge. You can feel it. It's like this underdog story coming to life. And you know, fans, they love that. Oh, absolutely. And then you add in the whole fantasy football angle. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm in a league myself. Oh, really? And let me tell you, having guys like Rogers, Allen, Diggs. Oh, your weekend can be made or broken. Seriously. The trash talk in my group chat 
is next level when the Jets and Bills play. It's a whole different ball game. And I haven't even mentioned the betting. Oh, man. Fortunes are won and lost. I bet. These games are like must-see TV for anyone who put money down. Oh, absolutely. Uh, every snap, every play matters. You know, it's funny. You, you've you got the history. You've got the star power, the coaches, the fans, the yeah. fantasy football, the betting. It's everything. It's like this perfect storm of football excitement. And it's all culminating in this rivalry. This is why we watch. And, you know, it all comes down to this. Can the Jets keep this up? That's the big question. Can they really dethrone the Bills? Right. I mean, the Bills have been building towards this for years. They have. They've got the experience. They've got the talent. They've got the coach. The whole package. They're the team to beat in the AFC East right now. And they know it. Oh, yeah. They're playing with that swagger. But the Jets are no joke this year. No, they're legit. Rodgers coming in. Completely changed the energy. It's like night and day. And that's what I'm saying. Like, they believe they can win now. Yeah. And that's huge. Huge. You can't teach that. You can't. And Rodgers... He brings that, absolutely. that confidence, that swagger. He's a winner. He makes everyone around him better. And that's what you need in a tight divisional race. It's like you're watching a movie unfold. It really is. This upstart team trying to take down the champs. Yeah. The old guard versus the new blood. And who knows how it's going to end. That's the beauty of it, right? I know. It's like you got to tune in every week. You don't want to miss a snap. So to everyone listening, if you weren't already hooked on this rivalry. Get on board. This is must-see TV. This is it. Jets, Bills. Yeah. This is for all the marbles. AFC East Supremacy is on the line. And we'll be here to break it all down for you. Every step of the way. Thanks for joining us for this deep dive. Absolutely. We'll catch you next time.